Hello, EK Trutti, and welcome in Brugge. I'm wearing Trenton sunglasses. Planes, trains, and automobiles going round the world like a spinning wheel. The road's my friend, the road's my home. All I have is the world to roam. My life is fast, my life is pretty. Living my life as pretty in the city. Hey, it's pretty in the city. Once the center of Belgium's trading empire, the city of Bruges had flourished as a shipping capital during the 12th to 15th centuries. Nowadays, this sleepy medieval town provides a charming getaway back to the Middle Ages. Trenton and I arrived in Bruges one evening, only to discover that our hostel was just as cozy as the rest of the city. All right, Trenton, get comfy. I know now how they fit 80 people in this place. Stairs is a bed with just 80 <laughs> slots on it. <laughs> The next morning, we struck out to explore the cobbled streets of this quiet town. We'd heard talk that somewhere in Bruges was a famous statue of a frog. Rumor had it that kissing it would bring you good luck. I have no idea. I'm trying to find this, uh, this frog statue. So there's the tower. Okay. Where's the statue? Okay. And this should be the bird, right? So much for the map, hostel. And so, our quest to find the fabled statue of the frog began. I feel like if we saw a bunch of people kissing a frog statue, we'd know what it was. The frog just hopped off and left. The frog is nowhere to be seen so far. It should be... over there. We're looking for this very large, noticeable frog. And uh, there it is, right there, in honor of a future romance. And uh, if the, this frog will turn into a beautiful princess, I am going to kiss it. It's the first date, should I use tongue? Yeah, you're getting this, right? Yep. Okay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> You know, for a minute there, I thought my lips were going to freeze to it. Now that we found the frog statue, where are we off to now? Lunchtime! Roast rabbit with bread. After lunch, we decided to head over to the main attraction that weekend. Causing a stir in this otherwise tranquil city was Bruges' annual beer festival, an event that boasted over 70 breweries and 300 types of beer. I don't really know where to start. This is the Floris Cactus from Delirium. It's actually green. Yeah, you can see that. And it, it tastes a bit like a Mountain Dew. It's got a sweet kind of tangy flavor to it. Now the green color comes from the cactus that they actually put in the, in the beer. Not bad, actually. For our next tasting, we went more traditional as we visited a company that used methods from the Middle Ages in their brewery. Uh, I'm Louis Mulders. What means Miller in uh, English? Okay. And uh, I'm from uh, Gagelin. We were the first in Belgium to reintroduce the Bock Barton in a beer. And that's what you are, the very specific taste. This is what I'm drinking, right? Yes, what you are drinking. Not very strong, it's 7.8. Enough, strong enough. It's, it has still a lot of drinkability. Yeah, yeah, it's got this full body taste to yes, it. Yes, but yes, yes. Not, not very strong. After finishing the refreshing Gagelier beer, we tried to figure out our next move. It was hard with so many choices, but eventually we settled on one of Belgium's brown beers. Yeah, what company are you with? I'm with uh, Bertinschamps. Yeah, it's situated just uh, under Brussels, uh, in south of Brussels, between Brussels and Namur. It's an old farm and uh, with uh, a super modern uh, brewery. And we have three different types of beer. We have the, 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 the brown, the blondes, and the triple. About the brown, it's a really large brown, just between uh, a brown from here and, for example, a Guinness. And uh, with a, a, a light coffee and chocolate taste. So without added flavors, it's only natural. Oh, very nice. Yeah. Right, thank you very much. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank, thank you. Thank you. With our last beer finished, we headed into the crowd to mingle with our fellow tasters. 
It was truly surprising to see how far some of them had come to try these amazing beers. Your dad also likes beer. Your, uh, your dad and I have a lot in common. Yeah. <laughs> if that's everything, yeah. yeah. Have you guys seen Colin Farrell a lot? We have. In British, great movie. Yeah. How do you say cheers? Cambe. Cambe? Cambe. 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 Il n'y a pas de souci parce que nous on est des stars. Ici on est, on est des, des pur sang. Pas des pur sang arabes, hein, mais c'est le même. Attention au coq flamand. Le coq flamand, c'est le meilleur. Bah, c'est comme vous voulez. Mais il y a déjà coupé, je pense. Hein. Mais I don't know what he said, but I agree with him. N'oubliez pas le coq flamand. Le coq flamand. There's nothing that brings people more together than alcohol. Cheers. Oh. I only had one officer. Before I had to be carried out of the festival, we decided to head out. But first, Trenton had to buy himself a snack. So, we just got done with the beer fest, and now I got a waffle. When you're in Belgium, you gotta try the Belgian waffles. I like mine, usually slathered in Nutella. See, there's two types of waffles in Belgium. You can get the normal one where it's waffle, and you put sugar on top of it. Or you can get the kind that I got, where there's sugar inside of the, inside of the, the structure. I'm sure your doctor's gonna love you after this. You know what? I ate a steak covered in butter for lunch. Um, I don't think I can get worse than that. I don't know, you're adding a sugar covered waffle to it. Dude, calories aren't a real thing. They're made up by science. And on that note, it was time for us to say goodbye to the beer and waffles and bid Belgium farewell. Our stay in Bruges had been a welcoming one, whether it was friendship, or romance. You're getting this, right? Yeah. Okay. There was something about Bruges that made it tough to leave behind. But we had to hit the road once more, because our next adventure was calling. the Berlin architecture or landscape as inspiration for your paintings? I think things kind of filter in, mm -hmm. you know. Um, as I said, you know, you look out the windows and I've got, I've got this space here, you know. Yeah, so yeah. It's, it's always, I always have sky playing a role, you know. Mm -hmm.